The Timbers are halfway through their preseason camp here in Tucson and are working hard to get ready for their next game against the Houston Dynamo on Saturday. I spoke with Ben Zemanski and Jack Dewsbury after training and both say the team is coming together really well both on and off the field. Yeah, it's coming together nice. Uh, we've got a lot of pieces that were, that were here uh, in years past and then uh, the new guys are, are developing and, uh, and fitting in uh, just as we hope they would. So uh, it's been a good group. It's been good to get away and just uh, just be around the boys and, and gotten some good sessions in here and uh, hope to get another good, uh, good couple games in. We've got a good group uh, and a good locker room, so I think it makes it easy, um, you know, whether it's a foreign guy coming into the group or or a rookie coming out of college. Um, the group is one that welcomes uh, welcomes anyone and makes it, the transition as easy as possible. And can you speak a little to the locker room that you guys have, what it's like to be a player in that locker room? Well, I think it's important because, you know, if you're a group that's united in the locker room, uh, that translate on, translates on the field. And so from day one, uh, when these guys come in, we wanted to let them know that they're, they're a part of a special group, a special organization. And uh, there's a lot of expectations, and that starts in the locker room and then uh, carries on to the field. Two of the newest Timbers, Nat Borchers and Adam Corsi, are fitting right in and using their time in Tucson to build stronger relationships with their new teammates. I think just uh, continuing to, to, to build as a group and, and get those relationships right, especially at the back. You know, I'm, I'm the new guy at the back, so uh, it's important that I, I, I get things right with, um, you know, the other center backs, the midfielders, and... Uh, you know, for, for Adam as well as the, the new goalkeeper, uh, just getting our communication right. And does it help in a way to have a new goalkeeper as well, so you're both kind of acclimating to the team together? Uh, yeah, it, it does. And, and, you know, he's a guy who's been successful um, uh, at a high level in Norway, and, and you know, he, he understands, you know, what it takes to win games. And, um, you know, he, he's got all the, the right tools, you know, to be a great goalkeeper in this league. So I'm excited for him, and I think that he's going to uh, do great things for this club. been with the team for 10, 10, 11 days now, and obviously the first game, keep a clean sheet and, and uh, yeah, get 45 good minutes, so, so it was okay. And what has preseason been like so far? I know it's only been about a week, but just to actually get some time here in Tucson with the team and away from their, you know, everyone's families and home and what it's been like for you. Oh, for me, it's uh, it's been nice. Uh, it's all about uh, getting to know the guys and them also getting to know me. Yeah, the whole group have been nice to me and. Uh, it actually feels like I've been here for uh, for uh, for more than a week, but uh, yeah, so far so good, and uh, hopefully it, it can just yeah keep keep going from there. The Timbers have another week here in Tucson, filled with training, team bonding, and two more games. First up, the Houston Dynamo on Saturday, followed by the San Jose Earthquakes on Tuesday, before the team heads back to Portland for the Simple Invitational. You can follow all of the action here on Timbers.com.